What you are going to witness is one of the toughest and scariest tests a commercial aircraft would undergo. Commercial airplanes are usually subjected to a stringent test phase before they are released to service. Checking the effectiveness of the braking system remains critical, as stopping the aircraft during an emergency is of paramount importance. The high energy rejected takeoff test is dedicated to assessing the emergency braking capacity of an airliner. The test is so demanding that it requires the meticulous intervention of the entire test team and firefighters. The aircraft is loaded with a heavy fuel load to bring the takeoff weight close to the maximum takeoff weight. And the carbon brakes in the main landing gears are replaced with 100% worn out brakes. So it's down to the stud. So if you've ever have your own brakes, they've got a machine down to, so there's just basically no material left. A fully loaded aircraft with maximum depleted brakes requiring a sudden stop at takeoff creates a possible worst case scenario an aircraft could face in real world flying. Pilots prepare the aircraft just like a usual flight. And during the takeoff run, upon reaching the decision speed or V1, pilots slam on the brakes, replicating a rejected takeoff. As the potential of the landing gear brakes is tested during this test, thrust reversers are not called into action. With the full application of the brakes, the kinetic energy of the aircraft is dissipated through the brakes. This increases the temperature of the carbon brakes to a value exceeding 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Firefighters do not approach the aircraft as soon as it stops. They have to wait for five minutes to replicate a real-world emergency scenario. Usually during this wait, the fusible plugs in the tires will activate, releasing the nitrogen within the tires to safely deflate them. Fusible plugs are safety valves that are designed to fuse and allow air to escape when the temperature of the nitrogen gas inside the tires is above a threshold value. If the aircraft could stop within the acceptable distance and does not create a fire hazard within the five minute time interval, it is considered to have passed the high energy rejected takeoff test. And that's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this episode and there are more videos coming so consider subscribing to The Intellect. See you next time.